welcome back to another Maze Plus video. And today we're having a look at the more realistic milking edit that Nightcloak has made available for the animal food editions. So what this does is um, rather than the cows reaching 26, 27 months old and then producing a flat amount of milk for the rest of the time that you have them, it varies the milk production with age. And this simulates how in the real world milk production varies around how cows have calves. Um, there are some limitations with how it can be done within the game because the game doesn't really account for linking the two together. So it's been done by age, but it's uh, it works really well. Um, it's worth also noting that once the cows reach 60 months or five years old, they stop producing milk. Um, that's partly a limitation of the game, probably partly realistic as well. Um, and I'm not sure that many people keep uh, play single match for that long, but it's something you need to bear in mind if you are going to. Um, so it's produced by Nightcloak. It is available on the Maze Plus Discord, and I'll talk you through where to get it from in a bit, because people sometimes seem to struggle with the Maze Plus Discord. But first, we're going to have a look at what it does. I'll then show you where to download it from and how to install it, because it does take a couple of steps. Um, so... First thing, what happens to the milk production? So this is for Holsteins. It's similar for um, the other dairy cows, but Holsteins are the ones that most people go for because they produce the most milk. And the um, the orange line is maize plus with the animal food additions as you would download it. And you can see that as cows reach um, having their first calf, they then start producing 2000 liters of milk a month forever, essentially. Um, and what happens with Nightcloak's edition is you can see that the milk production kicks in a little bit later and then peaks. And as the uh, cow age, as time progresses from the cow having produced the calf, the milk production drops. It then stops for a little bit and then picks up again as the cow has another calf. Um, and this is based around a 12-month a cycle for producing calves. And that's part of the installation process is changing how that that works um, and then after 60 months it stops so that's how that works um, so you get you get do get less milk but um, and i'm not saying that the numbers are exactly realistic the cycling is realistic and you still get quite a lot of milk i think it's ten thousand liters per cycle um, not don't quote me on that number though um, to go with that um, the other Food consumption and stuff is also cycled. So some people may like this part in that the cows eat less as well. So you have to put less in, which is sometimes an issue for Maze Plus with people using animal food additions. The cows do eat a heck of a lot of food. Um, so we go from a peaking and staying at four and a half thousand liters of food a month down to a peak of 3000 and periods actually where it's a lot less um, as the cows go through that cycle as well. Uh, water consumption is higher. It, it kind of is what it is in my mind. Um, I'm not sure how Nightclerk picked that number. Straw consumption is also higher. Don't have a problem with that because it feels like cows don't really use that much straw still even with the higher numbers of maize plus. So I'm happy with that. Um, manure production pretty much the same and slurry production a little bit higher um the now I'm gonna get into some interesting graphs um and these are the ones that have been generated for me by Dusan um he sent these to me on discord and what this shows is um starting at month 26 when with the animal food additions Holstein start producing milk the cycle of milk production for one cow um and then its calves so what you can see is that um, you get your steady 2,000 litres of milk a month. And then in month 54, the first calf that you've had is then old enough to start producing milk and your milk production essentially doubles and that repeats um, if you keep all the cows. If we have a look now at the more realistic milking, what you'll see is the cycling that I showed earlier. Um, so from month 28, the cow starting to produce milk that production declining as the calf ages and the cow's milk production slows down, stops for a bit, has another calf, etc. The important bit is that the blue lines show the milk production for the first calf. And so what you're going to want to do if you're playing for a long time is you want to keep that first set of calves to keep your milk production up. 
Um, so you'll see that as we reach month 60 and the milk production for the original cow stops, the calf is producing milk. So, um, you know, what you might want to do is keep the first set of calves and then sell the second and third and keep repeating that. So something to bear in mind. How do you do the installation? So uh, I'll show you it in uh, in reality in a moment, but there's two files that you need to download or edit. Um, so there's some new data to go into the Maze Plus Animal Data Override.xml in the Animal Food Editions. Um, and you need to edit the breeding in the animals.xml of the map. If the map has an animals.xml, you can just make the change shown here and you want to change it so that the minimum age month is 17 and the duration month is 11 um, and minimum health is zero. And what that will give you is um, a first calf at 28 months and a calf every 12 months. I know it says 11, it's the way the rounding works in FarmSim. If the map doesn't have an animals.xml file, there's one available on the Discord to download and I'll show you how to add that into a map as well. Something that I'll talk about when I show the installation is um, if you're adding this to an existing save, things will probably be out of sync. So I'll show you it in game. But what this table is, is if you go into your um, laceables.xml and find your, your, um, your cow shed, find the age of your cows and this is the production percentage that you want to set them to over here and um, I'll show you doing that because I'm going to do this to my maypole save um where do you get these files from so you need to join the maze plus discord if you haven't already um and you need to first if you haven't joined it already go into the rules section here and pick a language whether you speak German or English you don't do that you won't see the rest of the area and then what you want to do is go into the fs22 animal food editions com rationing section um, and there is a pinned post so click on the little drawing pin um, and find that clerk's pinned post from the um second of no, the 9th of february sorry um american dates so wrong um, yeah, from the 9th of February, and there you'll find the animals.xml that you might need to add to your map and the file containing the data you need to add in to the animal data override. And we are now going to have a look at how to do that. All right, we're going to start off in our mods folder. Um, so this is my mods folder in my games, Farming Simulator 22 mods. You're going to scroll down and find the map that you want to do. For me, this is Maypole Farm. And we're going to go to 7-zip and we're going to extract it. So that you don't ruin things at this point, take a backup of your map. Um, so you could uh, move it to the desktop. You could rename it. Um, I'm going to rename it to that. Um, and in fact, I'm actually going to cut it and paste it to my desktop because I don't want it there. There we go. You don't really want to keep the zipped version and the unzipped version of the map in the same place. So we're going to go in to the map. We're going to have a look to see if there is an animals.xml. The easiest way to check that is to find your way to the map.xml file, open it up and look for the animals section. And here we can see that it's taking it from dollar data s which means it's using the uh the base game one so we're going to need to create our own um so what you're going to want to do is find somewhere to put that i would probably put it in this level because then you can use information that's in the xml file to tell you where to put it um so go download it and then copy the animals.xml file into the folder that you want to put it within your mod so I have just done that. It's here. Um, if that step is beyond your capabilities, this maybe isn't the video for you. Um, you're going to need to be able to know how to copy and paste files to where they need to go. Um, right. So we've got that. What we want to do now is go back into the maps.xml file. Um, and if we look in here, we'll see we have map fruit types.xml. If we find that in here, And 
being a bit slow. Let's find another one. Sounds.xml. That's fine. Because we just want to get the right location. Um, so here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that bit or whatever is the equivalent for your map, which might be different. Okay, let's just select. It will let me all of that. We're going to copy it. And we're going to replace all of that. Okay. So what we've done is we've found an XML file or a file that's in the same place as where we've copied it. Um, you could probably use um, one of the others as well. But I've used sound because it's there. We've taken the path for the sound file, which is that bit and that bit only. And we have pasted it over the path that was here. OK. If you find you trying to load the game and things don't load, you have made a mistake in this bit. Go back to your original and try again. I'm going to save that and close it. That's the only change we need to make to the map. So we're going to go back up to the top level. We are going to press Control A. That selects everything. We're going to right click and go 7-zip and add to FS22 maplefarm.zip. That rezips it. We're going to cut that with Control X and we're going to paste it back into our mods folder. And we're going to delete the unzipped version. That's the map edit bit done. Next, we need to edit the Animal Food Editions mod. Um, so for that, we're going to go down to Maze Plus Animal Food Editions. We're just going to double click that to open it in 7-zip. And we're going to open the Maze plus animal data override file. OK. And then you're going to go find the other file you downloaded and you're going to open that as well. OK, so that's what I have open here, the replace in maze plus animal data override. And we're going to select everything that's in this one. Scroll down all the way to the bottom, OK, and we're going to copy that. So this includes Brown, Swiss and Holstein. OK, we're going to go into the Maze Plus Animal Data Override file. We're going to copy the same section. Make sure you only get the same section. We stop at that point, OK, and we paste it in. You'll see here I've made a little bit of a mistake because the new data and the existing data are on the same line. Just hit return. That fixes that. Now, to check that you've copied everything in properly, what we can do is in Notepad++ anyway, you can use these little bits to um, wrap up some of the uh, the sections of text. So if we do that, we can close up the brown Swiss one. And if we do that, we close up the Holstein one and we see we have Angus underneath. So this should all be OK. So we can save. We can close and it'll ask us to update the archive and we press OK. That's everything you need to do to add this in to a new save. If you are adding it to an existing save, I'm going to show you an extra step that I'm doing to make sure that the calves and the milk production are in sync. In sync, not in sync. Sorry, showing my age. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the save game for the map. And for me, I believe it's save game three. Yes, it is. We're going to go into the placeables.xml and we're going to find our cows. And I have Holsteins. Um, and you'll see I have Holsteins that are, I have two sheds of Holsteins which have similar age cows in. And what I need to do is just go grab my table and see what I need to set the reproduction to. Okay, so to make things easier, I'm going to have both on the screen at 
once. So I have cows that are 31 months old. So if I find 31 in my table, they should be at 27% reproduction. So let's change that to 27. Uh, we have 19 months old, so they should be at 27 as well. Makes sense because they were both at 10 before. Uh, 19, so that'd be 27, and then age 25 months old will be 81%. And this is the last step. So save that, close it, and have a look in the game and just make sure everything loads up okay. So just loading the game up now to check that everything has worked okay. Um, it's possibly worth having the, uh, or if, if you have issues, check the log file. It'll probably tell you what you've done wrong. Um, I might actually tack some examples on the end of this just to show you what they might look like. Let's just make sure that I've done it properly first before I get overly confident because I'm actually doing this to edit my own save game for my let's play on maple farm because i want this more realistic milking to be running so yeah um if you have issues installing this um use my discord is probably better than flooding the maze plus one Mike cloak is there as well and uh you don't need to tag anyone we people will see the messages and people will help um I will be asking you for things like a log file if you're having issues, but it looks like everything has loaded up okay. The cows are at the right amount of production, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's right. Awesome. So that's how you add it in. What happens if you do things wrong? So I have intentionally made a mistake now um, in setting up the edit to the map. Um, and we'll have a look in the log file in a moment and see what that looks like. I don't know if the game will actually load in and what it'll look like because, again, there we go, lots of errors, lots of errors. I think it's just going to get stuck. Um, so this is the console, which shows you what's being written to your log file um so we don't actually need to look in the log file the game did load but mm. but yeah there's no animal pens anymore so let's just quit out So let's find out what went wrong. I know what went wrong, but um, so if we go to our log file, I'm going to open that with Notepad, with Notepad++. Um, and then we're going to search for error um, and find, there we go, failed to open XML file, animals.xml. Um, and that's because I got the path wrong. So if we then go back in to the mod, um, because I think this is the most likely error that people are going to make. We go maps, maps US. I'm doing this in 7-zip now. Let me open this up. Um, you'll see that we got the path wrong. I missed off that bit of the path. So if we put that back now, everything should re and save and close and update. Everything should now reload and work. So let's see if we manage to reload the game now and it works. And I think that this is one of the most likely mistakes people will make if they need to add in the animals.xml file. They will probably get it wrong. Um, 
the other area you might have an issue is copying and pasting the wrong copy copying and pasting the information over the wrong thing or duplicating it so um if you have issues with that just go back through it slowly and uh yeah if you get really stuck then i have a discord not promising to be able to help everyone but uh, we will try and hopefully now we have cows there we go it has worked see um so yeah i i hope this gives you enough information on how to install this um there's a post on the most of discord about how to do it there's a post on my one in english as well um it's some pretty simple copying and pasting really i think the only tricky bit might be making sure that you copy and paste in the right place and also um, adding in the animals.xml file if you need to if there's already one in the map then just use that one and just edit the cow reproduction bit as i show in the presentation and if you enjoyed this video we found it useful click the like button um comments questions below um or if you are trying to install it and have issues go use my discord there is a link for that below um you don't need to message me you don't need to tag me just post in the maze plus section of my discord um and if you're new to the channel think about subscribing and i will see you next time